All right, hi everyone. Uh, we are here to talk about our third design activity, which is designing a progress monitoring method for student work. So um, I am Daniel, and in our group, we also have Holly, Manny, and Sean. All right, um, so just to summarize the problem that we're working with, uh, we're designing a software to support a very common problem in education, and that is grading student work. So um, this is a struggle for many teachers and a challenge uh, in many cases, um, and especially in elementary school where students are learning to read and improving and um, also learning to improve their reading, <clears throat> uh, teachers have to um, track the progress of their students and to monitor the reading performance of their students. Um, so this, this is not an easy task, but um, teachers need to do it um, to get information about uh, their students' reading and allow teachers to determine whether or not the students oral reading fluency is actually improving over time. Um, so some of, the, um, some of the thoughts that we had for the empathize phase is that uh, on the side of the students, um, when students are reading, they may be self-conscious speaking in front of others um, or even from just having their voice, voices recorded. Um, so young readers often have pronunciation problems. So that is uh, something to consider. Um, also, students from different backgrounds might have accents or even speak different dialects of English. Um, also, students might have learning disabilities in the form of speech impediments that would also affect um, how their reading might be assessed. And on the side of the teachers, um, obviously, it's a lot of work to listen to every student's re uh, reading and to, um, and to assess that. So it's, it's a, so we're trying to lessen the workload. Uh, we also want to stress and deliver effective and meaningful feedback uh, for the teachers uh, so that they can get a good idea of how their class is performing and how they are improving or whether they're improving. Um, so for the teachers, it would be really good if they could see the progress of the students over time. Next slide. So now we'll look at defining some of our goals and outcomes. To start off, the current method we estimate, it probably takes about four to five minutes for a teacher to listen, grade, and provide feedback per each of the stories. Um, that's not too bad, maybe, but when you think about you have a class of 20, this is 80 to 100 minutes of work per class per story. Um, so we have a couple goals we want. We want the software to be very intuitive and easy to use. We don't want any of the teachers or students to have to do any extra training or have to work at it. Um, the software will use voice recognition and then it will highlight potentially mispronounced words so that the teacher can go back and review it or the student can. The software will also monitor and display progress over time. For the individual student, that's going to be vis visible to the student, teacher, and parent. We're also going to have a section where they can see an overall class score that's only going to be visible by the teacher. So getting down into project details a bit, we have a couple different elements of the app. So KidSpeak is an iPad app. So it's very mobile and easy to use. The teacher estimates the student's reading level and then places them into the system. The students will record themselves reading a selection of stories. They have approximately one minute maximum to go ahead and read it and then the results will be stored online. Go ahead, Manny. So some of the ideas we came up with was that the scoring is actually gonna be done by the teacher. The software highlights the potentially mispronounced uh, words and the, uh, the teacher can then click on the word that's, that's misspelled and it will play back the recording of the student's uh, pronunciation for that word. Um, and then the teacher will then calculate the percentage of uh, correct and incorrect answers and readings, and they will validate the score and post them onto their, uh, their profile. Next screen. This, is the, this will be the, the logon screen where the students can log in, the teachers and the parents, each one will get a slightly different version of the same information. Uh, the students will get very simple basic information. The students, will, the teachers will be able to see uh, very detailed information for the student as well as the classroom and the parents will get more information on their specific, their specific student. 
So when the student logs in, what they'll see is a screen that uh, focuses on their needs. Um, one of the things that we want to have happen is uh, we want the students to uh, be presented the information that they need to do the job that they have been assigned to. Uh, we didn't want them having to make choices as far as uh, the actions uh, that they had to go through. So the first thing they'll see is the passage that's been assigned to them from a randomly selected database based on their reading level that was assessed earlier in this school year. All the student has to do is click go and then the app will begin recording their voice as they read the text. Once they've finished reading the text, what the teacher will see is a screen that displays the words that they have read. Uh, this will be shown in green. That's the, the complete or the total words that they read and any words that they have difficulty pronouncing or stumbled on uh, highlighted in, in red. And as Manny said before, the student, uh, the, the teacher would be able to click on the word or press on the word and hear the student's voice uh, expressing those words. And then they'd be able to decide whether they, uh, they agree with the app that that was a mispronunciation or uh, is a, just a, a, a dialectic difference. To assist the teacher, it does assess the total words read, how many words were correct, and how many words were incorrect and giving it a, a, a percentage of attainment that would allow the teacher to assess growth over time and also the teacher be able to determine the grade level or, or the grade level assigned to that student. In our situation, this is a grade four class, so the target grade level is four. The student, uh, sorry, the teacher can also select uh, the different students from the menu option on the left side so that they can very easily go through the class and uh, hear each student's uh, uh, um, efforts. They can also click on the class score, which we'll show you in just a moment. The students would be able to see their own performance over time. On the screen where they see how I'm doing, it would show the history of the passages that they've read, and it would show how well they did on them and how that relates to the grade level. Uh, the uh, green bar is a growth over time indicator. And when the students are entering in the grade, it's expected that they would be a little bit below the grade level uh, uh, for, for that, their, their current grade level. And the expected outcome is that they would be just above their grade level with, by the time they complete the year. So they would be able to see how they're growing over time and if they're tracking with that growth. The teacher would be able to see from their screen all the students on a single uh, a screen, which would assist them in evaluating where they need to spend their time and effort. They'd be able to see the students who are falling below the uh, target grade level and even the students who are falling well below the target grade level so that they would be easily able to focus additional support for those children. They would see the students who are achieving above the grade level so they could help push them or extend their abilities by maybe changing the attainment grade level for them to a higher level uh, and, and, and extend their students' ability. So this would simplify the process for the teacher and helping them see the students uh, as a class and as individuals. We hope this makes sense and that uh, the uh, app outlines um, uh, the uh, target goals that we had. We think that it does meet the expect expectations of what we're trying to achieve. And uh, thank you for your time and uh, watching the video.